Hello guys, this weekend is Manchester United versus Newcastle at St James's Park. It is a 8 o'clock kickoff, I do believe on. Yeah, it is 8 o'clock kickoff. So let's get into it. Let's cue that intro. Oh no, welcome back to the Match Day Live and it's me Dan back again and tonight Man Manchester United face Newcastle United, it's at St James's Park, it's an 8 o'clock kickoff and uh, yeah it's going to be a big game for both teams, you know both coming out of Europe with um, significantly poor results for both teams uh, but obviously in the league we are doing really well so the team I've gone for I think it might pick itself to be honest um, I reckon it will be Hoyland up front instead of uh, Martial we might see Martial but I, wouldn't, I would be surprised if it isn't uh, Hoyland and then obviously the man at the moment at the moment you can't drop him Garnacho has to stay on the left hand side so I, I think Rashford will be put on the right hand side again obviously Bruno Fernandes I think we have to start him Kobe Mainu you know he's been a fresh air a bit of fresh air into that midfield and I think he has to play uh, I've gone with Amrabat instead of McTominay because I think Amrabat I think he, I, I think he gives us a bit more defensive work. So he hasn't. He ha I'm not gonna lie. He hasn't been looking really good uh, in that phase. But I think if we have those two, you know, sitting there uh, in front of the defenders, I think we should be okay. Uh, but let's see. And then obviously Luke Shaw has to play with Lindelof, uh, Maguire, and Wambazak. And obviously I've gone with Bain Deer as well, uh, just because of obviously what happened on Wednesday uh, with Onana. So, you know, I think he deserves a debut and, you know, this could be a big game for him. Um, I'll be very, I'd be very surprised if, you know, if that happens, but that's my, that's my own preference. You know, we signed him for what, 30 odd million or something like that. And he hasn't even started a game, not even in the Carabao Cup or even the, um, you know, well, we haven't got the FA Cup yet, but even in the Champions League, he hasn't even started. So, um, you know what? Just give him a game. Let's see what he can do. Hopefully he doesn't do uh, what Onana did. <laughs> so let's talk about last week's result, which was a 3-0 result, a 3-0 win against now, Everton. And I can't believe I'm saying that. A 3-0 win at Everton is... You don't normally get that. You don't normally get that. So... Yeah, it started really well, didn't it? I think uh, <laughs> two minutes in, uh, gone at Joe overhead kick. Literally uh, played on the right hand side. Rashford put Delo in. Delo puts a really great cross in to the back post. You know, it looks like it's going away from Gonacho, and he just runs towards it and does a bicycle, bicycle kick and scores. So, yeah. Um, that was that was that really uh, <laughs> it was a what a goal it was what a finish it was just how you know i just can't, you just can't i just didn't expect it i don't think anybody expected it and what a goal it is it's just you know silence the crowd you know they're like oh my days what have we just seen and probably goal of the season but jesus what a what a what a uh, yeah, just what a finish from him. Um, so yeah, going into going into the game, then obviously one nil up already. You know, we was expecting it to. You know, we expected Everton to come back into it, and of course they did. Um, obviously, they had a couple chances. If they had, you know, if they had the strikers to finish a couple goals, then obviously they would be in. But um, they. Uh, they didn't really finish. They had a couple chances, you know, Mainu made a clearance off the line off one of them, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the best of, um, you know, it wasn't the best from, it was, yeah, it wasn't the best from uh, Everton. And, you know, if they put away their chance, they would have, they would have equalised straight away, especially the end of that first half. You know, we scored and then literally we just sat off them and let them have the ball pretty much. And then, um, yeah, kind of finished at half time 1 0. Um, so we were expecting a bit more of that second half. Um, you know, we expected Everton to get more, you know, get more chances, but we actually played it all right. Second half, we um, we actually got you know into the game a bit more and we actually controlled the game a bit more. And uh, we got a penalty, even though it was given uh, for a dive at first, but uh, yeah, Martial got tripped uh, by Ashley Young, of course, it was Ashley Young. 
uh, who tripped. He was given a dive, which I can see why it was given as a dive, but, you know, VAR actually gave it as a penalty, which we actually got a decision right for once. So <laughs> that was uh, that was the good uh, situation there. So, yeah, that was uh, a penalty. And surprisingly, Bruno Fernandes handed the ball to Rashford and then Rashford put away, he's got, put away his penalty. So he put a good... Uh, penalty and that was um, yeah that was 2-0 so that was looking really good as well and then uh, we got a third goal um, great play down on the right hand side I think it was Anthony who just come on and he uh, put it put it on to Bruno Fernandes great through ball to uh, Martial and he went on to score um, so yeah great finish from Martial it was a great goal uh, to win it 3-0 and then uh, they did have a, a shot from I think it was the left back who uh, had a shot and it hit the crossbar. But apart from that, you know, I mean, there wasn't much in it, really. Um, there wasn't much in it. You know, Rash, uh, not Rashford. Um, Anana, I think he made, like, what, a couple saves. But apart from that, not much, really, in that second half. So, yeah, we won the game 3-0 and that was that, really. <laughs> we were all surprised. But, yeah, the main talking points from that game was obviously the overhead kick from Garnacho, and then, obviously, the... Um, and obviously, it was the uh, it was the you know it was the good team. Well, it wasn't the best of performance from Manchester United, but it was uh, it. Oh, how have we not scored there? Um, it, it was unlucky. Um, yeah, we, you know, good finish, good three points, to, uh, especially to go to Goodison Park. After, obviously, after the. Uh, points deduction as well you know they uh, did a like a protest thing as well which we kind of knew that was going to happen but yeah um, so going into obviously the midweek game we had to face Galatasaray and what a shock we drew that game but uh, from one of the shocks it was literally it was it was Onana um, unfortunately the old Onana you know he's had a good last couple of weeks in the Premier League um, and then all of a sudden, he's just become really poor. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we, let's start off with the uh, Galatasaray game. So, obviously, we scored first um, with a goal through Garnacho. It was a great finish from Garnacho. So, then that was 1-0. And then Bruno Fernandes had a shot from outside the box. A great goal. So, then that was 2-0. Um, and then Bruno Fernandes gave away a penalty. Uh, not a penalty. It gave away a free kick. Not in the best position. Um, for a shot, um, but yes, it's, I think it was Ziyech with the with the uh, free kick, and he went on to score it. Um, but I could, I could, I will give the benefit of the doubt of to Anana for the first goal because he couldn't really see it. Um, it went past, you know, a couple Galatasaray players, and apparently as well, it shouldn't have stood. Um, which uh, I think there was a weird rule or something like that. Um, one of the Galatasaray players were in. Uh, next to the wall, which they shouldn't have been, or something or another. It apparently should have been ruled out. But um, yeah, the goalkeeper should be saving it. Um, he didn't see it. He saw it late. He obviously went to the left, expecting the shot to be uh, went to the left. But after that, um, it was literally uh, yeah. It, <laughs> It, it went, you know, it went in. Um, so then that was 2-1 and I was like, oh God, here we go. Here we go again. So finished half time 2-1. Um, obviously Galatasaray back in it. Um, but then we did get a third goal through McTominay. It was a great counter-attack goal. You know, expecting it to be the last, you know, the game-killing goal. Uh, but then it was just a Zach... Oh, uh, why is... Oh, my controller's disconnected. <laughs> Come on, just stay stay on just for now. Um, yeah, it literally, it was... Oh, I was going to say, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? I can't think what I was saying. Um, yeah, it was 3-1. McTominay got a goal. And then literally, same again. Bruno Fernandes gave away a stupid foul that went to a... Uh, get to a... Um, Galatasaray goal again so yeah um, I don't know it was just it was just you know it's the free kick I, again he should be saving it he has saved it but he's just gone underneath his arm it was a deflected it was a, it's just a cross shot that's deflected off I think it was Martial's head or something like that and um, in the end that was 3-2 and then later on 
you know, the second, the third goal, it was a nice finish, but it was poor defending, to be honest, and it was poor positioning uh, from Anana. It's a good finish from the Galatasaray goal. It's a good goal. Um, but, yeah, we, free all, we shouldn't be doing that. And then later on as well, oh, the amount of chances, Palestrium at Tomine as well. Should have put the game to bed for free, and when you know we'd be looking good in the Champions League group. Uh, group, but unfortunately, obviously, we drew nil, uh, free all, and uh, Copenhagen drew nil nil with Bayern Munich. So it means if we are going to go through to the next round of the Champions League, we have to beat Bayern Munich and hope Galatasaray and Copenhagen draw, which uh. You know, if I was a betting man, I don't think that's going to happen. I'll be very surprised if that happens. But, I, yeah, I just don't think that's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's just poor Onana. It was just Onana who just ruined it for us. You know, it was a really good game from United. Um, but it's just poor, you know, we control. We If it was 3-1, we controlled, we, you know, we controlled most of the game, really. And my control has gone dead again. Sorry, guys. Um I don't know why it's going dead. It's got 65%. I was pretty sure it had like 50% battery. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was uh, free all and, you know, set up a really poor, um, you know, really poor um, Champions League run. And to be honest with you, I would rather lose that game in, you know, I know it's Old Trafford and I know it's Bayern Munich, but I really, if I was, I, I'd, Personally, I don't want Thursday nights, and I don't think Man United want Thursday nights. Oh, no, please just go on for 10 minutes. I might have to change batteries. <laughs> um, right, <laughs> sorry, guys. Normally, I have full um, full battery control, uh, full batteries when I record, but I must have forgot to do it. Um, but, oh, my God, what a finish. What a goal that is. Um, but, yeah, it... <sighs> Is a poor... Oh, okay. We're going to have to change batteries. Sorry, guys. I'm going to quickly do this live. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, it was, a poor, it was a poor result for United, obviously. We lost 3 all, but it was the Anana situation. It hasn't helped him. So it hasn't helped him. And in the end, we... Um, come on, connect. Are you going to connect? There we go. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So it, it was. It was just one of them. It was just one of them games where. It, it, I don't know. It was just one of them games. You can't do anything about it. You know, they just got the luck. It, it seemed like every shot Onana was looking, he wasn't going to save. And I don't know. Maybe he's got something about f free kicks. And obviously, if that was Newcastle this weekend, you know they are. It's gonna be it's gonna be a hard weekend for us if he if he like if you know what New, Newcastle are like they are gonna be putting free kicks like that especially with Trippier on the ball you, you know he's just gonna go uh, go for goal every time and he, you just know something's gonna happen um, I hope it doesn't but I've got a funny feeling it will um, so obviously going into the oh we've got a goal again. Um, <laughs> And then, obviously, we are going into the game against Newcastle. It is the 8 o'clock kickoff. Um, another start of a busy week, obviously. We've got Newcastle, then we've got Chelsea, and I think we've got Bournemouth the week after. Um, but, yeah, we've got a midweek game against Chelsea. So there will be a match day live uh, going on next week. I think it's on Wednesday, is it? Maybe. I'm not too sure. Um I think it is Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it is Wednesday. Um, but yeah, that's an eight o'clock kick off. Eight o'clock kick off again. So yeah, we have got midweek games. So there will be a match day live next week uh, in midweek. But uh, yeah, there's that. So um, you know, barring the Galatasaray result, and obviously um, Newcastle were unlucky not to win in midweek as well against PSG. You know, they did beat uh, they did beat Chelsea last week four one at their place. So uh, was it at their place or was it at... Um, I'm pretty sure it was at their place, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was, a, was at home. So, you know, going to St. James Park, they're going to be up for it. Um, if we can nick a victory like we did against uh, like we did against Everton, I reckon we could do that. Obviously, Newcastle themselves do have injuries and obviously we have injuries as well. Um, but, it, you know, it's going to be a hard game. If if Newcastle get the first goal, 
I reckon we've lost the game. Um, but if we get the first goal and then maybe nick a 1-0 victory, I could see that as well. Because um, obviously they lost they lost to uh, Bournemouth, Bournemouth a couple of weeks ago, but obviously that was away. A so I just hope that we get a result. Uh, obviously it's not going to be that scoreline, but um, if we can get a result against Newcastle, maybe I'll take a draw, to be honest. If we take a draw, I'll, you know, I'll take that all day long. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go for 1-1. One, one. I think United will score. I think Newcastle will score. And maybe Man United will nick it 2-1, something like that. But um, I think, you know, I think Newcastle will be up for this game. And uh, hopefully United will as well. But if United ain't, obviously, that it's going to be like a 3-0, 4-0 to Newcastle. And that will be, uh, that will be you know, obviously, uh, you know, put on Ten Hag as well. So... Yeah, so anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. So please like, comment, and comment and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your score predictions below. So right, guys, I'm going. Bye.